Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my three top tips for how to invest your time at Christmas. So, my first top tip is this spend your time on non urgent but important tasks. And what I mean by that is zone activities, which often is planning. Planning 2021 is such a valuable use of your time. We often don't have as much free time at any other point in the year other than at Christmas. If you go on holiday at top points in the year, you've not normally got your family with you, you're traveling, you've got lots going on. But at Christmas, everything stops. Solicitors stop, estate agents stop. You can catch your breath at a time that is the quietest time of the year. And so my suggestion is when you're sat there on the sofa or when you're getting up early and everyone else is having a lie-in or when everyone else has gone to bed, use that time productively to plan. Carve yourself out some time to actually plan your next year. Now I'm talking about your diary. What appointments do you need to take out of your diary? What appointments do you need to put in? What ones do you need to maintain? And you need to think about your priorities. What are your priorities next year? If you wanna get into property investing, if you wanna improve your buy-to-let property investing, your sophisticated investing, then you're gonna to need to make time for it. You're gonna to need to invest time in to that business to get it giving you a return back. So your diary is a really important part of that. You also need to plan your marketing. How are you gonna find the deals that you're gonna buy over the next 12 months? How are you gonna actually find those deals? Do you need to start delivering leaflets? Are you gonna start advertising in newspapers? Are you gonna start running Facebook ads? Millions of different ways of finding deals. Which ones are you gonna start committing to in the next 12 months? Finally, what habits are you gonna kick off? What are you gonna stop doing? What are you gonna start doing? Last year, on New Year's Eve at midnight, I decided that I wasn't gonna drink alcohol for the whole of 2020. I've stuck to that commitment. Um, for those of you that know me, you know that, that was quite a hard commitment for me. I like a social drink um, as, much, as much as the next person, but it was something that I committed to in order to grow my business this year because I knew I would be more effective if I was not um, groggy from having a drink the night before. I knew I would wake up earlier. I knew I would train of an evening. I knew that I would be clearer thinking in my business and boy, is it uh, paid off. In fact, I think I'm gonna carry it on for uh, an indefinite period because it's had that such such an effect on me. But it took that decision at Christmas time to think, yes, I'm gonna to commit to changing that habit of drinking socially, it can be changing that habit of working out, i.e. not working out to working out, changing that habit of when I finish my day job at 5 p.m., I'm just gonna sit at my desk and do another hour on my property business, or the first hour after I get home, I'm gonna work on my property business rather than sitting and watching the TV, or whatever those habits are. We talk about healthy habits, planning those at Christmas time and injecting them into your year, putting rocks of time so that the un immovable the unnegotiable periods of time each week and each month into your diary is what's going to make the biggest difference my second tip is don't kid yourself that learning is helping you to make money I'll say it again, don't kid yourself that learning is helping you to make money. Now that conflicts with what some gurus say, it's, it conflicts with what some of the greats say. Now I'm not trying to say that learning isn't important, it absolutely is. Um, there are all kinds of sayings about only being able to, you can't out earn your learning, you can't um, grow faster than what's between your ears, etc. But here's what I am saying, profit generating activities are doing actions that make you money. Learning is just a productive way of having downtime. And so if you're out on the bike, absolutely listen to a podcast, listen to an audio book, improve your property education. Watching this video right now is good quality education. Hopefully you agree with that. It's what I strive to, uh, to deliver at least, but it's not gonna directly make you any money. So absolutely listen to audio, read educational books over Christmas. You know, when everyone else is watching TV, sit down on the sofa and read a book. Um, absolutely learning is critical, but don't learn instead of taking action. Taking action is the absolute most important thing for your property business. It's the thing that holds most people back. 
And finally, my third tip for you is rest. Recharge your batteries. The whole 5 a.m. club, the whole, you know, keep on grafting. You can add in an extra 10 hours a day of work. Absolute rubbish. I think that a clear mind, a rested mind, a rested body is critical for top performance. If you really want to hit 2021 in the right vein, taking action with momentum, being successful, hit the 4th of January, Monday the 4th of January, with a massive amount of energy, having rested over Christmas, having planned out your year, having done a bit of education, so that you are the best you, putting your best foot forward. Guys, have a fantastic 2021. I will enjoy helping you to invest in a sophisticated manner throughout next year. God bless. Guys, if you'd like to hear more, hit the notification bell, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you on our next episode. In the meantime, happy investing.